Imagine this, your partner, maybe it's Danny Jensen, <laughs> hits a dink that goes wide. In the moment it goes wide, you realize that there's an ATP opportunity, an around the post opportunity from the other team. Don't panic, it's defendable. If you do these two things, you know what they are? Oh. That took too long. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about the two things that you can do to take ATPs, which they think are going to be winners, and turn them into blockable balls where you regain the advantage and you win the point. This is called ATP defense. The two things you need to know. So let's have, we only have two people, but we're going to imagine we're playing doubles, right? We're going to imagine that I am going to play two people. I'm going to be Kyle one and I'm going to be Kyle two. So let me be Kyle one to start, right? Yep. So Kyle one, feels really weird to say that out loud, is dinking back and forth. In the moment that I might hit a wide dink, which I just did, yep. okay, Kyle too, or your partner, is constantly looking. In the moment they see that dink might go wide. And if you're Kyle number one over there, maybe you even yell, watch it, because you know the moment it came off your paddle, it's going wide. So you communicate to your partner, watch it, meaning watch for the around the post. Because what oftentimes happen, happens is the ball goes around the post, and they just walk through it for me real quick. Mm -hmm. So as the ball's getting dinked wide and it's going around the post, Players just stand there and they just watch it go in and then they get mad at their partner. Here's the mistake we're trying to avoid. Kyle number one, imaginary guy, dinks the ball wide to Danny, go ahead. Right, I'm gonna get here, right? So I actually got a paddle on it, but it went right into the net. I didn't have time to adjust. I didn't have time to think. And much of the time you're not even gonna get a paddle on it because the ball is probably going into the court. Now, maybe don't hit as wide of a dink depending on who you're playing, all those things, but it's defendable. The moment you notice it's gonna be a wide dink, that's the trigger for you to anticipate that there might be an ATP. And the moment you anticipate, your actions are to do two things. The first thing that you should do is dynamically drop diagonal. Dynamically drop diagonal. That's, I just love, <laughs> I just love alliteration. <laughs> dynamically drop diagonal. <laughs> Drop diagonal, okay? So the moment the ball goes, it's a wide dink. So he's in this position. Now, what a lot of players do, well, they'll just go sideways. That gives me less time and it gives me less space to cover and block this ball from Danny. So what I wanna do, and I actually watched this from uh, watching Riley Newman. He does this nearly every time on ATPs. He's so good at this, is he drops at a diagonal angle, boom, to give himself more time and more space. I've even seen him, Danny, notice it and actually run back here, right? Or run back here to give him more time and space to recover. So Kyle number one hits a wide dink. <laughs> boom. I'm giving myself more time. I'm giving myself more space to work with so I can actually convert a block shot. So number one is drop diagonal, or mm -hmm. dynamically drop diagonal, depending on how much you love alliteration. Now here's number two. The moment I drop diagonal, I also wanna drop my paddle. So I drop diagonal and I drop my paddle. It's kind of a rhyme. I drop diagonal and I drop my paddle. I said drop diagonal and I drop my paddle. All right, so we'll walk through it again. Why dink, I'm gonna diagonally or I'm gonna drop diagonal and I'm gonna drop my paddle. Here's why. If I keep my paddle up high, like I would if I was at the kitchen, right? I'd probably be here, ready to block. If I keep my paddle up here, if the ball comes up here, I should duck. Out? That was out. That was out. The ball is most likely gonna be down somewhere low. So I might as well be more efficient in my movements and take my paddle and immediately drop it towards the ground. Kyle number one hits the ball wide, I drop diagonal and I dropped my paddle. I was even able to change. So I was here, I had it down, ball went here, I, I turned. Instead of here, I'm having to make big movements. Yep. Now, here's a bonus for you, how to defend the ATP. Now, what typically happens is the moment I hit this ball, I come back, I block. Danny number one is off the court, which yep. means Danny number two is gonna come over and cover, yep. right? So what happens after I block it is, I usually block it down the line, Danny number two comes over, and he just puts that ball away. That's a very common scenario. But what Thomas Wilson, who's a top player in the world, is so good at is that he drops diagonal, he drops his paddle, and he replies cross court. Knowing that Danny number two, Danny number one's partner, is coming over and is gonna be out of position. Second benefit to this, just outside of the positioning. If I, and then I'm in a defensive position here. If I pop it up cross court to his backhand, Harder. his backhand put away is nowhere near as good as his forehand. Some players are, but most aren't. So let's go back to this. Kyle number one, thinks it wide, drop diagonal, drop my paddle, hit it cross court. And that's one of those shots that after you hit it, everybody's like, whoa, <laughs> sick. <laughs> If you like that video, smash the, I don't like saying smash the like button. 
So it's kind of not like me. What would you call it? I don't know. You gotta get, you gotta get a tagline. You're gonna have a, gonna have a tagline. Channel. What do y'all think the tagline should be? It's pickleball. It's pickleball. Keep. Can you dink the like button? <laughs> yeah, dink the like. Go ahead and dink the like button. And is that, uh, does that even sound cool? Makes though? sense to me. Wait, it makes sense, but is it sound You know cool? what? Tell us what you think in the comments below. <laughs> what should the tagline be? For, uh, for hitting the like button. Yeah, I mean, they say you're supposed to tell people to like the video. Now, I just want you to like it if you liked it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But yeah. if you do like it, it helps the algorithm. You know what I'm saying?